talk about um, slant asymptotes. So this is a rational function, um, and you know we can analyze this. Obviously, the vertical asymptote is three. There's no hole because even if I factor this, nothing's going to cancel. And there's no horizontal asymptote because the degree of the numerator is greater. There's no horizontal asymptote because the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. But that means that there's a slant asymptote. And in order to find the equation of the slant asymptote, we actually have to do our division. Now, I could do long division or I could do synthetic. In this case, I'm allowed to do synthetic because of the representation of the expression on the bottom. So um, doing synthetic, I'm going to take the coefficients of the numerator, 1, negative 4, negative 5. And then here goes the opposite of this, right? And then follow my steps at 1, multiply, add, multiply, add. This last term is my remainder, right? And, you know, to get this back into polynomial form, this starts with a second degree. So this is going to start with the first degree. And these are the coefficients, 1x, and then this is my constant term. Whatever's here is the equation of my slant asymptote. I ignore, I ignore the remainder. My slant asymptote is y is equal to x minus 1. And if I were to graph this slant asymptote, I would use slope-intercept form, right? The y-intercept is negative 1, the slope is 1. So you could graph these functions um, if there's a slant asymptote by graphing the diagonal that corresponds to the um, function. But to find slant asymptotes, you divide and then ignore the remainder, and whatever's here is your equation of your slant asymptote. 